theorems that I want to uh, go over and prove so you can see it is the supplement theorem. It has a lot to do with very bare bones basics of line and angle relationships. It talks about a linear pair and the fact that they are supplementary. Statement of the supplement theorem is this. If two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary angles. In order to do our proof, we need a given. Take it off the hypothesis. If angle 1 and angle 2 form a linear pair, over here is our picture, angle 1 and 2. If they form a linear pair, or is given they do form a linear pair, then prove that angle 1 and 2 are supplementary. Notice that we have points A, B, and C, and if we make that into an angle, we have angle A, B, and C. Now, angle A, B, and C is what type of angle? It makes a straight line, so therefore it is a right, straight angle. What's the measurement of a straight angle? 180 degrees. So here's our statements and here's our reasons. Statement number one is our given. Angle one and two are linear pair, given. Now, from the formal definition of a linear pair, formal definition of a linear pair is the non-common sides form opposite rays which form a line. Ray BA and Ray BC form a line. So look at Ray BA. Ray BA starting at B and going through A, and Ray BC starting at B and going through C, do they in fact form a line? They are opposite rays, and they do form a straight line. That's from the definition of a linear pair, formal definition of a linear pair. Number three, the measure of angle ABC formed by those two rays is 180. Why? Because definition of a straight line. Straight line is a line formed by two opposite rays. Okay. What do we know? Well, from the angle addition postulate, we do not have to prove. We know that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals what? Well, the measure of angle ABC. Angle addition postulate. We also know that the measure of angle ABC equals what? Since those two equal each other, we can substitute them, use them in place of each other. So on the next statement, we're just simply going to use 180 in place of the measurement of ABC. So the measurement of angle 1 plus the measurement of angle 2 equals 180 degrees. Call substitution. Then the last statement is angle 1 and angle 2 are therefore supplementary. Why? Because the definition of supplementary angles. What is the definition of supplementary angles? Two angles when added together equal their measures equal 180 degrees. Well, we have two angles, they're added together, and they equal 180 degrees. So they are supplementary. We're given that they're a linear pair, so therefore we now have proof that a linear pair is supplementary, and we can make that statement and use that as facts without proof. Got some sample theorem proofs that you can use. Or, uh, to working on proving angle relationships. The next theorem we want to visit about and talk about is the vertical angle theorem, or VAT as we will refer to it. We will use it a tremendous amount this next year or this year as we finish out our geometry course. Vertical angle theorem. Statement is, if two angles are vertical angles, then they are congruent. We've told you that. They're formed by two intersecting lines. They're non-adjacent angles that are formed by two intersecting lines. In order to prove this, we need givens. And we need a proof. We need a little picture over here. Here's our picture. We have two intersecting lines. We have angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, and angle 4. Are given if two angles are vertical angles, then they are congruent. We're also going to put a few other things up there that will help us out. We're going to be given that angle one and two are a linear pair. 
Angle 1 and 4 are linear pair. And angle 2 and 4 are vertical angles. And we are to prove that angle 2 is congruent to angle 4. Formal proof to column proof, statements and reasons. Statement number 1 is our first given. There it is, abbreviation, angle 1 and 2 are LP, linear pair. Second statement is our second given. Angle 1 and angle 4 are a linear pair, given. And we put this one up here, we're not going to use it, except to refer to it. Angle 2 and angle 4 are vertical angles, V angles, and that is given. Now, from the supplement theorem that we just went over, looked at, and um, there'll be a proof on, we know that measurement of angle 1 plus the measurement of angle 2 equals 180 by the supplement theorem. We also know this right here because they're a linear pair, the measurement of angle 1 plus the measurement of angle 4 equals 180 by the supplement theorem. Now look at those two because they both equal 180. If two things equal the same thing, then they must be equal to each other. Okay, so we can simply substitute this one for that one. Okay, so measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 4. Substitution. Using subtraction and substitution, we're going to pull out that angle 1, subtract it, and we're left with the measure of angle 2 equals the measure of angle 4. What do we know about two things that have the same measurement? It follows. Angle 2 is congruent to angle 4. Why? Because the definition of congruent angle. QED, quite enough done. We have proven that vertical angles, not adjacent angles formed by the intersection of two intersecting lines, are congruent. Well, by the way, we've also proved that their measures are equal.